Uh, I mean, I will say, doing first person impressions does pay better than doing the pit stop, but that's, that's nothing to brag about. All right. That's, well, all right. That's, that's also nothing to brag about because the pit stop is not <laughs> pay that well. Layla McQueen is literally three feet tall. She's like this tall. Layla, are you here? Layla? Layla. This is like, this is Layla. Rolling. <laughs> <laughs> In a hotel, not even kind of ready to go. I like what about the time? Short, short, hairy, overweight, like balding, be big belly. Just say Layla McQueen. No, just kidding. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh. She's gonna kill me. She is going to kill Love me. Love it. That was, I mean, quite a description. Tattoos uh, on season eight of RuPaul's Drag Race from yeah. Boston. Drag yeah, names yeah. rhymes with Shlela Blagleen. Yeah, paints, leather jackets. Um. <laughs> That's just what I'm into, personally, me. RuPaul looked like Alexis Mateo doing Alicia Keys from Snatch Game. It was the exact Bam! same, yeah, it was the exact same reference. It changed the lighting for her. I was like, ah! I had to walk away. Also, she was making fun of it, not knowing. She goes, this looks like it came from Primark. And then Joe decides to lean forward and go, actually, H&M. <laughs> As if it's something H clever. H&M. And, and RuPaul goes like this. Ooh. And I was like, ooh, here it comes. And she goes, you better throw some motherfucking glitter on that motherfucking H&M dress. And I was like, ah! <laughs> Yeah, it was like she said, she goes, ask H&M. And then oh. Paul just go, what the fuck did you just say? What the fuck did you? The Excuse me, Like bitch? literally, Rue, at the, like the one point in the season, she was looking down to do one thing. You know, whatever. And then they caught her one, RuPaul's one moment where she goes, actually, it's H&M. You know, she caught it. What did you fucking say? <laughs> I don't want no motherfucking H&M on this motherfucker. <laughs> Lights, it was so good. I want to rewatch it right now. Oh my God, so good. First of all, RuPaul's hair looks like the coronavirus. <laughs> Is her hair not the coronavirus? And I was like, RuPaul laughs at everything that Trinity says to a point where it made me uncomfortable and I wondered how many drugs RuPaul was on to be laughing like that. <laughs> if you watch the episode, go rewatch it again and just wait for RuPaul. And you know RuPaul's like, ha, 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 ha laugh that he does. <laughs> that is a good, that's a good RuPaul laugh. That was really good. Oh, I've, li I've listened to it many, I'm like, what, how forced can this be? This was exponentially more crazy to watch. It was uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm like, what? Nothing is funny. That's so weird how Michelle is trying to corner Lawrence into being like, so you're never gonna move out of, out of Scotland, right? You're, you're never gonna move? So, so you're saying right now on camera that you are you literally win. never gonna leave Scott. You don't wanna go to London. You saying right now that if you win, you're not gonna go, can y'all can you point the camera at this, at this fat bitch? So you're not going to, you're not going to London, okay? <laughs> we, got, we got it on camera, You're bitch. so right. Oh, shikakak, shikakak, art. Did somebody mention art? So much drama. I like drama. Also, I'm here for all of the drama, yeah. and so are you. I'm What's like, a TV what? show without drama? It's the Great British Bake Off. Yeah. It's the Great British Bake Off. I need drama. Yes. This is American TV. I want drama. Drama is drama. And you why not participate? This. Oh, participate. Also, I would have just switched it up just to be like, let me just piss off some people. <laughs> I like make other people feel good. Just to spice it up. Put the girl you think is the best at the yeah, very that, end. I don't see you as coming. <laughs> but really, just piss her off. Yeah. <laughs> I would have spent time thinking of like sexy puns oh, about sexy broccoli, broccoli like, puns. Yeah, yeah. like my green puff. Like it's not know. easy being green, but this green is easy. Ah, See? that was I mean, better, I, that was better, I, that was I, good. That is the idea. <laughs> when Trixie did the ugliest dress, this wasn't it that dress? <laughs> What sweatshirt Wait. would you wear on the runway? <laughs> like what color sweatshirt okay. with one button would you wear on the Aiden. runway? 
I love when she talks. Amazing. I love when she talks. She's like, I want to say this real quick. Can we please get a big toast to Trinity the Tuck Taylor? She did an amazing <laughs> job in the challenge. And I think that we need to acknowledge that she is doing a very good job on the show. <laughs> Something about the way that but she But you got to do, like, it's lots of this. She's like, she's I, I do want to say out loud one time real quick that they did do a very good job in the challenge. Love <laughs> it. Love every second of it. Everyone's like going on about how they feel and, tr and Trinity is like, no one celebrated me. Bro, Trinity goes, was Hold on. I, I need to have, she goes, I need to have my moment. I need to have my moment. And then Roger goes. Everybody, can we please take a moment to please acknowledge our sister, Miss Trinity, and tell her that she did an amazing job. <laughs> it really got me together. I I'm hate sorry, it. I think it's coughing fit. <coughs> Is it from this outfit? Oh like, my, it's horrible. It's just, I saw it and it immediately closed up my throat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the monster called in Big Mouth? Oh, the Hormone Monster. Hormone Monster that was by uh, uh, My Maya R Rudolph. Maya Rudolph, yeah. That's Ginger Minj. In this episode, did you hear what Ginger Minj said though? There's just no way I would have felt good sleeping tonight unless I chose Scarlet. <laughs> It was so, I was like, whoa. whoa. I just could not feel sleep just another just night knowing Scarlet Envy is in the competition. Only this queen I feel comfortable with. Everyone else should stay. I can't sleep tonight unless Scarlet goes home. Listen guys, if Scarlet is still here, quite frankly, I'm uncomfortable. I just want to say hello. I'm uncomfortable with Scarlet's presence. She'd already had it out, right? She was like, oh, here we go. Listen, okay. This is the only choice. There is nobody else who deserves to go home. I can't even live with myself if any of these girls, these girls are incredible. This girl sucks. She needs to go home, Scarlet. Goodbye. The girl I chose, I chose the Scarlet Envy lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> I love this shade. It's absolutely beautiful. But I just couldn't sleep tonight wearing this lip gloss. She needs felt to go. Like, it felt like she was like, hello everybody, welcome to Big Table Talk. My bowels were obstructed as a child. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're, oh, we're just really dive. But also, I don't know how much they cut out before that, that came. But didn't it seem really sudden? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between. My name is Ginger Minj. I've been chatting seventy years. <laughs> I was like, can I say a controversial statement? Yes, please, love it. I don't believe this happened. Is that horrible? <laughs> Why is that controversial? It's your opinion, and it definitely didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Complete lies! Complete lies! This is not real. Like... <laughs> None of that happened. No. Some of the girls have been writing a lot of messages saying, I wish you and Bob wouldn't hate so much on some of the queens. It hurts their feelings. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, Jan should have went home that episode. She was so <laughs> no, I get, no, not, you know, just, you know, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. You know, also, no, but in all serious, I just want to say to those girls, did you see Ginger Minj's entrance frog look? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, well, I don't want to be mean. Ginger, as soon as she starts explaining herself, I was like, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Like, it's, <laughs> done. it's done. Okay, I just want you to know that with my heart, I would just, let me just, let me explain. I just want you to know that in my heart, I thought you should stay, but I thought they were going to choose. It's them. It's them. I thought they were going to choose you, so I so I chose you because because I thought they were going to, but they but then they didn't. Then then they didn't. I was like, girl, yeah. it's a wrap, yeah. Mary. RuPaul, talk to. Wait, wait, back up. Do you remember when it was Pandora and Jan goes, oh, oh girl, so sorry. You had to say that because now keep going. When Trinity said, the girl I chose is incredibly talented, and Jan was like, fuck. Which insinuates that she doesn't think that Pandora I exactly It's definitely me. It was definitely she me. <laughs> she was like, the girl I chose is incredibly talented. God damn it, God oh, damn it. No, no. <laughs> it's me. That's definitely me. Oh, no. <laughs> if Jan was really cunty, yeah. She would have picked that guitar up before Suki got to it. Imagine if Jan oh, would have walked her over, picked up the guitar, yes. and was like, "What? It's mine." 
Well, oh, oh, is that unfair? That's what I would have done. It's my last I mean, chance here, girl. I still imagine them, get over imagine it. Imagine them fighting over the kids. Like, oh, imagine them oh like Oh my killing. God, Silky would have attacked her. Oh my God, fight, yes! Why is there not more fighting? <laughs> I was like, if Jan was a real bad bitch, she would have sold that fucking guitar right from her. And that would have been yeah, I iconic and epic. What? I just love how she's like really embracing that she's like, listen, I'm older, I'm not the most attractive, and her self-deprecation is actually very funny and it's shining through as like who okay, she is. Okay, you right added now some stuff there. She did not say she wasn't attractive. You added that. All she said was- No, her was, disgusting pear-shaped body. No, she talked about her disgusting pear-shaped body, <laughs> that she never books any gigs, that she's not worth anything. You know, so that like, everyone I in her family, she has like no I'm friends. Older, she, I'm oh, no, irrelevant. No. Yeah, all of her clothing is dirty. I mean, she talked about how she smells bad. It went on and on. It was in there. If you were wine, you will hear it. And you know what? I love that she talks about this stuff because it makes her funny and good to laugh at. It's good to just laugh at a clown who smells bad. So power to, power to you, Pandora. Power to you, Pandora. You are nice and old and disgusting, and I just, woo, I'm here for it. Woo! woo. I was like, not Georgie sprinkling in extra... I really did kind of say that tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately thought like an answer from Samantha Jones was like, I love children because when they grow up, they turn into men with nine inch cocks. You know, like something like that. Well, I, like I that, that, that would be a... What, what, what they should have said was, do you like children? She goes, of course I love children. I drank a full load of them this morning. Well, that see, that is is like, see, that's too far. <laughs> or it would be Samantha. Wait, mine is like, too far? You just, <laughs> mine is too far? <laughs> You're, that was really inappropriate. Cancel. Uh, I don't. I don't really follow country music. I'm not a country music anything. But I knew. Drag of Trixie. Tonya. I love Eureka so much. Drag her. Uh, fine, <clears throat> but was Eureka giving you Madonna down? I mean, I think that Eureka no, was doing No, absolutely nothing. I love what she said. Oh my God, Miss Thing, I done broke the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my I God, Miss Thing, I done broke the bed. I also laughed when Eureka said, when Eureka goes, I'm Eureka's fan! <laughs> I was like, and then she did it again. I laughed, I rewound it just to watch it. And I'm like, I'm so here for Eureka. I just make you laugh. I'm Eureka's fan! I'm like, Eureka, you are out of your fucking mind. I love it. And there was a great moment where Eureka goes, I think I want to cry. In the middle, she goes, I think I, I, I want to cry, y'all. I want to cry, and I know Eureka well, and that—that that is that's that's her girl. I'm gonna cry, y'all. Girl, I'm gonna cry, girl. I'm gonna go ahead cry. You did not like her look on the runway that week with the mix. No, but I still think, but I still think, no, I, I didn't think it was the best look. I didn't say I didn't like it. I didn't think you it was the best one. You said she should be set on fire. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who is she? I wish she is fired from We're Here on HBO. You said that. No. It what I said not, was it wasn't no, my it favorite. It may not have made the cut on the episode, but you said that. We were watching together, me, Shangela, and Eureka watching together, and I said, everyone do a shot if Manila crosses her eyes and if uh, Kylie does a backflip. Uh, well, bitch, everyone got drunk. Wasted. Because... Wasted. <laughs> If you are at World of Warning, you're listening, this is my official offer to write and direct one of the episodes, one of those acting challenges for you. That This one was wild. I'll actually uh, read you all the direct text Silky sent me, and it really touched my heart. Oh, that's, am that's amazing. Did you watch the episode where she's like, thanks, because she yeah. didn't say thank you to me? Oh my God, thank you. They have shown me, show me. I, I reached out to her, I reached out to her. So, oh my God, thank you. They're showing me uh, some. I don't want to be told, I want to be sucked into your story, and I wasn't right away. Then, it was a lot of like, <laughs> You all heard like it, bad. Georgie wants to be sucked in. Keep going. <laughs> I want to be sucked. Now, um, so oh, I liked looks, Kylie right away. She sucked me in. I was like, this is fun. This is real. God, stop saying you got sucked in. When somebody Georgie sucks me in, sucked I'm in and then she thinks <laughs> <laughs> but then I tell him, Sh I so Kylie, so, so Kylie, Kylie sucked you in. Got it. Um, I can't stop saying that. I could not <laughs> believe that I was the only one who voted for Shangela. I'm like, she did the best, and fuck her. She, she eliminated me. Fuck you. But also, here's my vote because you did pretty like you did the best. <laughs> she must have upset. She must have upset the other girl because they were they were up the hot with Shangela. She she's hot. a lot. She's a lot to work with. She's really intense, and you know this. She's a diva, but she's really professional, and she's really good at what she does. Yeah, you know. I was like, Shangela's a diva, but Shangela also. I will always have to love for Shangela. Shangela calls my mom every Mother's Day. 
do you realize that she calls my mom every single Mother's Day? She calls. So like, are I you will serious? Always, my See? mother. Yes, yeah, she calls Mar Martha. Call what she calls her every single Mother's Day. This and is one she she once went to. Chandler once went to when my mom was doing a drag show in Atlanta. Shangela written did my mom's drag show was as a guest, and then my mom went to go pay her, and Shangela would not accept the money. Like I will always have a very soft this spot is, for her. For and over the she years, you know, watching her social media, she is really big on you know drag everything, but then she's really big on family. She posts a lot about like her yes. nieces and nephews. She's always with her grandma. She's like family trip back to what is it? Paris, Texas. She Driving was just in a BMW around. commercial. I was like, okay, you need to go. Yeah, away. yeah, it's not you need to get BMW at it. Stuff. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop stealing things from me. Can't you see me with my hair whipping in the wind driving BMW? <laughs> <laughs> but like when Chandel's walking out in a gown and saying, like, you know what I love? You know, when I get behind the wheel and I touch that 100% vegan leather steering wheel, and, I, and I'm like, Oh my God! Like, what? Call me. This would be great, but it's not for me. Was, it's not a good pair. I do know? think. Like, I do think another McDonald's commercial is in, is in the future. Like, they need to do a full big budget McDonald's thing. Oh, you, did you know this? They, the, well, I did an Instagram ad with them, right? Like an Instagram uh -huh. paid partnership with them, and they treated me very, very well. And then the very next week, Shangela did a full length on oh, TV McDonald's hallelujah. with them. So, yeah. <laughs> Go look it up, and it came out like a week after I had to post about it, and I was like, "Oh, got it." So I was like the little garbage thing that you got, but you, she's like a lot better. Got it. I also, I also, yeah, I think everyone has something against me. Also, my Instagram number has been the same for a year and a half. Hasn't changed once, not one person. But every day it's like all these people like follow, follow, follow. I'm like, cool, but why isn't it reflecting in the number? No. Well, how many followers do you have? Let me see. 734 for the last like six months. You check it tomorrow. There's no way it's been the exact same. The point. exact, I, I talk about it with close friends and I'm like, did you check? And now they check and they're like, wow, you like really haven't gone up or down in like ever. And do you know who to contact at Instagram to be like, should I just call up Instagram and be like, hey, what do you have against I don't me? Know, I, 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 I bet Shangela knows who to call. Hello. <laughs> she probably was the one who said, push the button on Thorgy's page though. <laughs> Give me the McDonald's. Because what's the name one in a leotard? They look crazy. No offense to her, but Aquaria one in a leotard. Oh. And all I think back to is, I always think back to Aquaria wearing the leotard and that hat holding the crown and scepter. And you look at everyone else winning and everyone's in like a gown. And then Aquarius in like a hat. You don't and a like Leotard, Aquaria. Is... You hate her. Oh my god! That's, that's you just not what said, I said that. I heard you. Everyone heard you. I was I gonna say not say. when Aquaria already... won because apparently you don't care for Aquaria. Uh, when Aquaria won, I know you were like, oh god, Ugh, she's wearing a leotard. No, you I... said it, not me. Um, no, it's fine. But I did not say no, that. It's fine. You said it, and uh, I will always hold you to it. But you know what? Aquaria is amazing. She's my New York sister. But New York embraced Aquaria, unlike you, because you don't care for Aquaria and you think she should. Be I one. You love think she Aquaria. Have won. But when Kylie won, New York was like, what? But thank God she's not wearing a leotard, which you leotard even don't like. <laughs> even if you can't talk, you can type. Yeah, I can type. Yeah, you, you can like you can read a little note from Bob. <laughs> I'll make up. I'll make up everything. <laughs> I'll be like, how is oh the girl God. who won this week? And I'll be like, Bob says Aquarius shouldn't have worn that leotard when she won. It was pathetic, garbage, and I don't respect her drag. I'm gonna have to publicly post and my own And you can't publicly do anything because you can't speak. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Look at Bob's hairy legs. Wait, lift the skirt up a little Bob's higher. Let's give him. Bob, Bob, I don't have hairy legs. Thank you, Yako. She's showing her fucking. Disgusting. You shush your mouth. I miss you, Monet. Have you ever had anyone steal an idea from you and then act like they didn't? I, I had an instance where this one queen kept taking all of my ideas. Every time I would do something, she would do something very, very similar. So what I did was I just partnered up with her and we started doing sibling rivalry together. <laughs> to be 
be so funny. <laughs> Listen, Thorgy, you're laughing now, but uh, I don't know if you remember when me and Monet did uh, Drag Race and the, the Tamisha Mon and the so girl. Oh, the girl, they get wild. Let's oh, now. I was you so did. here for that drama. I actually texted Monet and I was like, Monet. And she goes, I know exactly why you're texting me. And I'm like, tell me everything <laughs> right now. Love it. Bob, let me get this straight. So you're critiquing Ginger and Aquaria for having their crowning looks be leotards. But didn't your sister did Monet wear a cat suit when she got crowned? <laughs> Okay, let's be clear. I am not responsible for Monet's actions. You are. I am you not and responsible your Patreon, for... You and your sibling rivalry, you and your gross relationship with Monet. She wore a leotard cat suit when she won lazy as... That has, that that has your nothing daughter, to do that with is me. your sister, and you are responsible for it. Long live Aquaria. <laughs> Had you not thought about that way? You're a big figure with lots of follower, followers. If you say something wrong, people are gonna attack you. Think about yeah. it on the show now, after how popular it has gotten. Many Emmy Awards, right? All these awards, mm -hmm. all this, they, they're thinking about it. And I feel for these girls, right? I'm not crazy, Yeah, right? it's crazy. No, it's not crazy. A, a big, you're not crazy, it is valid. A lot of people are, it is hard for them to compete on RuPaul's Drag Race because they're also trying to be like come across good on a reality TV show and they're afraid the fans are gonna read them down. So it's almost impossible for the girl for some girls to compete on the show, especially if you're on All Stars and you've had a bad experience. And I do think that Silky got it really hard. I think that the fans were really fucking tough on Silky in regards yeah. to her appearance on season eleven. Like it was, yeah, she was a little wild. She was rambunctious. But like the fans were just being too much. I heard a lot of controversial uh, uh, opinions that Kylie Sonique uh, is gonna win just because she's trans and came back on the show. And I'm like, well, she well, might. That, that would be a great way to discredit her win. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if she does win. So I'm like, let's wait and see if she fucks up or continually does very, very well as an entertainer and somebody who can carry the throne of an all-stars winner. So I'm going to say this out loud. Anyone who says that that Kylie would win because she's trans, that's transphobic. I hear You're it constantly. People tell me this and I'm like, transphobic. really? It is completely discrediting everything that she's done. She's been doing very good. It's like back when Monet won and folks said it's because she's black or it's because she did a really good job on the show. It is such a cheap, shitty way to discredit someone's work and act like what they're doing is not is like there's some sort of affirmative action hire as opposed to saying maybe they're doing a good job.